Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Warzone mobile video and in today's video we're going to be going over the newest 2.5.0 update patch for Warzone Mobile that was released on May 11th of 2023. We will be covering all the new changes inside of the game as well as talking about the next appropriate steps Warzone Mobile is going to take with the up and coming future update. Make sure to tune in and watch the entire video. To start off with the most important and critical change within the new 2.5.0 update for Warzone Mobile is going to be regarding device compatibility and for that you're going to be able to see a pop-up on your screen right now that's going to say starting this season the minimum supported ios version for this new season will be ios 16 which essentially means that a lot of ios devices that cannot run ios 16 will not be able to play the game as of right now for this specific current season and state of the game which definitely means that in terms of device compatibility with regard to ios devices you do need to be playing on a reputable and current relevant ios device that is currently running ios 16 or later due to the fact that the game is now becoming more demanding and as we get into these more new changes into these various and upcoming new updates the game is going to become significantly more demanding and obviously you know considering that a lot of players out there want to be able to play on low-end ios devices if you are playing on ios you're just going to be able you're just going to have to be able to play on an ios device that is running ios 16 so that's going to be the first change for the second and most notable change within the newest update for Warzone Mobile is going to be the graphical improvements, specifically with regards to multiplayer. I am playing on the new Scrapyard map, which is showcasing the newest lighting that was added into the game and sort of just the newest uh, graphical quality improvements to the map in general. And honestly, guys, it definitely looks fantastic. I'm not even going to lie. This kind of just gives us a glimpse uh, into the future of how the Verdansk map will look like. It'll definitely look similar to this in terms of the graphical quality and i'm really excited to see where warzone mobile takes the graphics to another level in terms of the up and coming future updates that are coming in june july and most likely august september as well and i definitely think that warzone mobile is on the right track and as you can see here i mean even my tac q56 with this rainbow tiger camo absolutely looks incredible on this on this map and uh, i'm just really excited to see what warzone mobile does in the future when it comes to graphics for the third most notable changes within this new update is going to be in terms of new content which is bringing out new weapons a new melee weapon and a new lethal equipment to the game we're also receiving general updates such as specifically like added gunsmith tutorials added orientation sub map added vfx support for legendary weapons improve the verdansk map in general improve the main hub and main menu improving weapon menus and and improve gyroscope settings as well as addressing some of the bug fixes as well as known issues that warzone mobile is currently aware of and just like it states in the patch notes directly yes we received new ui improvements and where you're going to be able to notice these new ui improvements is when you launch the game and go to the home menu the home menu page is a lot better than what it was last update it's more simple it's organized Plus, there's no clutter. They moved everything from the left to the right in terms of being able to access bundles, your friends list, changing the game mode specifically, and being able to find a match, as well as just reorganizing the bottom horizontal bar for store events, operators, and weapons. And as you guys may notice, that now customizing and accessing vehicles is no longer at the bottom of your homepage. In order to access that, you're going to now have to click on your personal profile. From there, you're going to be able to change vehicle customizations to all your vehicles and to be able to put on different camos and skins of that nature. In the new events page that Warzone Mobile added in this latest update, you're going to be able to now play in weekly missions. In these weekly missions, you can earn up to exclusive and cool rewards um, for a certain amount of time playing, and there's a leveling up system, so you'll essentially play from level 1 to level 9, and just completing challenges to be able to earn specific rewards, specifically like a character operator in general, or even a cool camo for your gun. And that's going to be really awesome. It's giving more incentive to be able to play the game, to grind the game, and just overall have fun with the game. And I think Warzone Mobile is definitely making a positive direction when it comes to incentivizing people to keep playing. Even the settings menu inside of Warzone Mobile received a very, very nice and subtle UI change as well. It's now in a vertical list format, which is easier on the eyes it's easier to identify which part of the settings tabs you want to go through and navigate to and definitely easier in terms of being able to identify and customize any parts of your account whether it be your controls your graphics your audio 
language, your social, and just managing your account in general, which is definitely a nice touch to see. And deep diving into the settings menu even further, if you do happen to go click on controls and then click on interface and then scroll down to the movement control, specifically in interface, you will now see new controller settings for flip and Warzone DMZ Flip, which is also indicating that DMZ is going to be coming to Warzone Mobile sometime in the future, which is definitely a nice thing to know. In Warzone Mobile, we also have the long and awaited and much anticipated perk packages. This was a critical key component of Warzone Mobile, in my personal opinion, that we definitely needed this update. And with regards to that, we now have a plethora of numerous perk packages you can choose through, which is absolutely amazing. The way that you can access these various perk packages inside of Warzone Mobile is from the home screen directly. Clicking on weapons from the horizontal list down below on the home menu, click on Warzone loadouts or multiplayer loadouts, and then you can click on perk packages. Within these perk packages, you'll be able to see support, which includes Bomb Squad, Battle Hardened, Resupply, Survivor, Deadeye, which includes Overkill, Strong Arm, Fast Hands, and high alert out which includes scavenger strong arm focus and ghost and sentinel which includes battle hardened bomb squad cold-blooded and quick fix and then warden which includes double time strong arm fast hands and quick fix personally i think warden and dead eye are the two best perk packages in the game as of right now and in warzone mobile we received two new weapons one of them being the f tag siege pistol which is an automatic pistol that acts like an smg and for the second one it is going to be the gs magna which is very similar to the 50 GS. With that being said, guys, if you guys have made it towards the end of the video and if you actually enjoyed watching today's video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, we're on the road for 10,000 subscribers. It'll absolutely mean the world to me. If you guys can subscribe to my channel, we are actually so close to hitting that marginal goal and it would absolutely mean the world to me. Make sure to go ahead and share this video with all your friends who play Warzone Mobile as well to see what was new inside of the 2.5.0 update. I'm really excited for the future of this game and I can't wait to get my hands on the new update next month in June. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.